welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about my catfish story. Um, there was another video I did where I got catfished before and this time I was more aware of the catfishing but I still got catfished but I didn't fall for it. Kinda. <laughs> so I was talking to this guy on kink of all places and at first for the first couple of days it was it was nice, it was like, hey, how you doing? Chatting like that. But then, like a few days into it, he started calling me his wife. And we're not married. Um, I never met this man before. And uh, he was saying, you're my wife, I want to marry you, all stuff like this. But... Yeah, after a few days, he started calling me his wife. He started saying that he wants to marry me and all this. I'm like, okay, cool. Let's meet up. He, go, he wanted me to fly to New York to meet him. And I told him, there's no way I can do that because I live in Florida. Do you know how expensive a flight can be to New York? So I told him, no, I can't do that. So then after a few more days of talking... He says, I need you to do something for me. Like, okay, what is it? He goes, I need you to send me money. I'm like, excuse me? No. I tell him, I'm not going to send him the money. He's like, I need you to help me pay this bill. I'm like, why can't you pay your own bill? I pay my own bills. Why can't you pay your own bills? So he just kept saying stuff like that. I need your help. I need you to send me about $216. Like, I ain't got that kind of money on me ever. Not that I was going to do it anyway, but so he keeps going on and on about he needs money, he needs money, I need to, I need to give him my money, which was not going to happen. In a few minutes, you'll see all the messages that I have, all the images of the messages that I have, of everything that went back and forth, and all of that. So at the end of the conversation, because I'm like, I think you're a catfish, I don't trust you. I'm not sending you money. That's what I was thinking. I don't know if I said that or not, but knowing me, I probably did. Um, he keeps writing these like love messages to me as like weird stuff, and then he's like, "Please help me, please." It's like I really need your help. He's like calling me honey and baby and wifey and stuff like that. He's like I. I need to get this paid. I need you to send me money. I'm like, I'm not going to do that. The message right here says, I'm not sending you my money to pay your bills. You should have done that. I pay my own bills on time or early. So, it's like, are you going to send me an iTunes card? I said, no. And that was the end of the conversation. That was the end of the conversation. Um, and that was on... I think that was the last day I've heard from him, actually. I don't know what that day that was on, but I know that was the last day that I talked to him. I haven't heard from him since, since I told him I'm not sending him money. I think he was catching on to what I was doing. Um, in a minute, when you see these messages, you'll see a picture of him. So if you see this guy anywhere on your social media... Do not talk to him because I I have reason to believe he's a catfish. He's using somebody else's pictures, probably, to catfish people, to send them money with promises of being together forever and, and stuff like that. So what's going to happen now is right now I'm going to show you the pictures, that the screenshots that I took of the entire conversation so you can read them for yourself.
that was the images, the screenshots that I took for you guys to read. And as you can see, why I feel like he was a catfish because he was making up stuff. He was asking me for money, which is a big, big red flag of a catfish. If they're asking you for money after just a few days of chatting, then they are a catfish. If they are saying promises a meeting up and they don't do it, catfish. If you ask for a video chat and they say, no, it's broken or there's always an excuse, catfish. He's always making up excuses for why he can't do something. Most likely, catfish. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was information that you can use going on in your life in case you come across a catfish but now you will know the signs of a catfish if you don't watch a catfish TV show already. And so if somebody does this to you, you will know they're not real. They're probably using somebody's pictures to get off or whatever their excitement is for that or whatever it is. They think they can get. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe for more, and I will see you guys real soon.